right, pineapple glazed ham. I've got a 2.7 kilogram, which is about six pound. This is a gammon ham joint, boneless. Now the point about gammon ham is gammon comes specifically from the leg. So that's a large piece of thigh meat uh, of the pork, of the pig, and it's it's uh, green cured, what we call green cured in the UK. So it is cured, but it is raw. I've got some honey, some clear honey, and I've got some mustard, which will form part of the glaze. I've got some pineapple slices, and specifically their juice, which is also in this can. I've got some sticks, cocktail sticks you need, or something like that. I've just cut up some skewers. And I've got some glacé cherries. For the spices, I've got a couple of, these are Indian bay leaves, but any bay leaves you can lay your hands on are good. I've got some Dalcini cinnamon, which is uh, like cassia bark. And I've got a stick of cinnamon. I've got a teaspoon of mustard seeds. I've got about eight cloves. I've got a, a heap teaspoon of coriander seeds, a teaspoon of black pepper corns. I've got uh, about a teaspoon of uh, carom or ajwine seeds, and I've got about a quarter teaspoon of um, cardamom seeds. Now you can throw in about three cardamom pods, ordinary green cardamom pods, and it'll have the same effect. So I'm just going to get this into my pot. I'm also going to need an onion, which I'll uh, just, uh, a whole onion, which I'll just cut up and quarter, and then uh, we'll get this cooking. Although it is a baked ham, it does involve uh, boiling the ham for quite a long time, so we're going to actually Bring, the, bring this to a boil in our seasoned liquor and then simmer it for about two, two and a half hours. So there we are, I've taken it out of its um, plastic wrapper, washed it and I've left it in its netting sock which holds it all nicely together in shape and I've placed it in my, my big uh, cast iron pot and into that I'm going to put uh, an onion which I've just cut into six pieces uh, and all my spices they're all going in onto that I'm going to tip some hot water because it saves me time heating up the water and a kettle does it a little bit more efficiently than a pot does. And I'll top that up just to almost cover the joint. And then I'm going to slide that over now, over to the heat, and bring that to the boil, and then simmer it for two and a half hours with the lid on. All right, so it's coming to the boil. I'm going to turn it down now to a simmer and cover it with a lid and leave it for two and a half hours. All right, let's put together a glaze for this um, ham. I'm gonna pull the lid off this can of pineapple rings. And then I'm just gonna drain that into my glaze saucepan. So it's a, you can use two of the smaller cans or one big can like this of uh, pineapple. This is sweet pineapple slices in juice, and they present like that. They look rather good on top of the uh, ham. So, just draining all that. And then I'm going to put in, I want a kind of slightly molasses flavour, so I'm using some soft dark brown sugar. So I'm going to put on one, two, tablespoon to that I 
I want two tablespoons of honey, nice runny honey. And I want about a teaspoon of mustard. I'm using English mustard, so about a teaspoon. Alright, I want to get that on the heat now and reduce it to about half of its volume. So I'll bring it to the boil and simmer it slowly until it's reduced. As it comes up to the boil, turn it down to a simmer. Give it a good old stir. I want to get everything mixed in there. And once it's mixed in, just let that simmer away until it's reduced to about half. And it'll thicken slightly as well. So, the idea behind the glaze, right, the pineapple of course carries the flavour of the pineapple flavour through into the glaze and then you've got the dark sugar which gives it a slightly molasses flavour and also that nice colour you see there which once it's painted on to the ham itself it will look much much uh, brighter and in addition to that you've got the honey and the honey gives a beautiful sheen to it so it, it gives it an almost um, uh, glass like finish as it goes on and you'll see that in the finished ham it looks rather good and um, I'm just waiting for this now to finish reducing um, needs a little bit longer and then all we do is we set it aside and uh, wait for the ham to be ready so there we have it, reduced nicely to about half. And I'll now turn the heat off that and just put it to one side. So there we are, two and a half hours later. I've transferred it to a um, baking tray and I've removed the uh, net. My next job is to skin this ham, uh, which I'll do. I don't, I don't want to, to lose too much of it, of uh, the fat cap. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut in along the top and then cut just under the skin to remove it for the purpose of demonstration and instruction. I'm going to do it that way. Flip it around. So I'm trying to preserve that fat cap, which is fairly easily done. Okay, I just spun it around so you can see it better, and I'm going to remove the skin. Okay, the first thing I want to do is checker it. So I'm going in a diagonal halfway across it, cutting just through the fat, not into the meat. And the fat will be thicker in places than other. And then you just do a crisscross the other side. Again, just cutting through the fat, but not through the skin. And then I just want to take it along in one centimetre, half inch cuts. And then go along that side until we get to that sort of checkered pattern a little bit like the skin of a pineapple but the next thing we want to do I want to get some glaze onto that first so we've got our reduced glaze and I'm just going to paint some onto that this is also going to be very very sticky certainly once it's uh, baked and while you're doing this, you want to set your oven to 180 degrees Celsius, 350 Fahrenheit. I think that's somewhere around about gas mark 6. Correct me if I'm wrong. And now I want to dress it with the pineapple. And I'm going to open up my cherries. So we've got glass A cherries, pineapple rings. And I'm just going to put one right in the middle on the top. 
into the middle of that I'm going to put a cherry which I'm going to stick down the middle and into the ham to about there and then I'm going to carry that along and add more pieces like that. Securing each one cherry in place with a cocktail stick and like that so we end up with a dressed ham that looks just like that pretty eh very nice now you can use bits of pineapple to patch those up but I don't think you need to I think it looks perfectly good I might just put one more on that side and the last thing we need to do with that before it goes in the oven is give it another dressing of our lovely glaze and you can be generous with this so that's going to give a gorgeous sticky sweet glaze on the outside of our ham and it's going to taste out of this world so go along the front and underneath and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to save that little last dribble and I'll dress that with that as it comes out of the oven so that needs to go into a preheated 180 degree 350 uh, degrees Fahrenheit oven and it needs to go in for about 20 to 25 minutes but we'll keep an eye on it and see how it goes we, we just want it to glaze nicely without burning okay you'll see I decided to go for one more ring on the outside there just to make it look extra pretty and even all over so there you go it looks really really attractive and now that's going into the oven there's a little bit of liquid in the bottom of the pan that will probably prevent the sugars falling off that and burning at the bottom of the pan so I'll leave it in there right lovely let's have a look at that that looks rather good right I just want to put another touch of that glaze on top just to make it look really good so there we have it gorgeous pineapple glazed ham right I'm gonna let that cool down a bit and then we'll slice it up and show you what we got it's looking good Hey friends, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. If you would like to follow my channel, please subscribe. 
and don't forget to click the bell icon and select all to receive notifications for all my future videos. It would be great to hear from you in the comments and I'll try to get back to as many of you as possible. You may wish to check out these titles or even help me out with a donation using the links in the description below the video. Thanks for watching.